Hello everyone, my name is Torun. Once again, welcome to PE Worlds. Once again, I came with another video, and this video is for both ICSC as well as ISC Physical Education. One of my viewers have uh, requested me to make the videos on this particular topic. The topic of this video is bone injuries as well as joint injuries, and what are the differences? We will be discussing on these particular topics. Anyway, the people who are new to our channel, requesting all of you to uh, subscribe our channel to get updates of the uh, different uh, topics of physical education and sports. Anyway, let's move forward. So uh, basically bone injuries and joint injuries are very much common in physical education and sports. As you know, whenever you go for uh, playing uh, either football, basketball or badminton or any kind of sport, then you might be experiencing uh, some of the injuries as I guess. So now let us understand what bone injury is and what joint injury is. Okay, bone injuries are the injuries of the human bones, commonly known as broken bones and fracture or fracture. Uh, we will be discussing about the joint injuries. Let us discuss in detail about the bone injuries. Anyway, now the types of fractures, that means types of bone injuries. First one is simple fracture, uh, also called as closed fracture. They occur when our bone suffers breakage but does not pierce to the muscles or skin. As you can see in this picture, the bone has been broken but the muscles and the skin is not at all uh, affected. Now coming to the next part that is compound fracture. What is it? It is opposite to simple fracture and is also known as open fracture. There will be breakage of the bone and it will pierce through the muscles or skin too. So it is more likely to develop an infection in this type of, of fracture. As you can see in this uh, picture very clear, uh, the bone uh, is broken as well as the muscles as well as the skin is also affected. Let's move forward. Next one is comminuted fracture. What is it? Among all different types of fractures, comminuted fracture is a serious one. The bone will be broken into several uh, fragments. As you can see in this picture, the there are uh, several uh, parts have been uh, shown in this picture that has been uh, caused due to uh, severe heart on this particular part in during the sports. This is a highly complicated injury and usually heals quite slowly because if this kind of injury is being experienced, then it takes time to get healed up. Next one is impacted fracture. What is it? This type of closed fracture occurs when there is too much pressure on two extremities of the bone. So that means if you look into this uh, picture, you can see that there is a pressure generated on this part as well as this part. That's why uh, one part of the bone has been uh, entered into the another part as you can see in this in this particular picture very clearly the bone splits into two fragments the fragments will jam into each other that means it will be going inside each another okay next move forward next one is green stick fracture more common in children it is partially fracture for it is a price partial fracture uh, with one side of the bone unharmed. That means here you can, it, in the uh, picture it is very clear, you can see that the entire part of this bone is not affected, the part of this bone. That means uh, either one side or some of the part will be infected. There will be torsion on the other side and the bone through. This type of fracture usually heals quickly because, you know, uh, uh, this uh, particular fracture occurs in the part of this particular bone and that's why it heals quickly. So next one is complicated fracture. What is it? When the bone is broken and the structure around it like veins, arteries uh, and nerves also get damaged. So this kind of fracture is very serious. In that case, uh, you know, um, uh, quick medication as well as the hospitalization is very important. Otherwise, it may cause uh, danger and it may also lead to uh, death. As you can see that veins, arteries and nerves are also get damaged. As you can see in this picture. Next one. Uh, the multiple fracture. 
so there is more than one fracture in a bone as you can see in this uh, picture so if you consider one bone so in this type particular uh, fracture there will be uh, multiple uh, places where the fracture will be shown you can see one two three in three areas the uh, breakage has been shown has been occurred next one is spiral fracture when the bone is broken by a twisting force that means if there is a twist uh, comes on a particular bone that means pressure generates in a twisting force then it can kind of, this kind of uh, fracture will be uh, occurred as you can see in this picture it is very clear next one is oblique fracture in this type of fracture the fissures runs diagonally to the axis of your bone so you can see in the picture that it will be uh, the fracture that the breakage or the crack will be uh, coming in a diagonal way they are basically uh, slanted fractures caused by an intense force applied at an oblique angle next one is transverse fracture transverse fracture is perpendicular to the axis of the bone uh, you get a, a transverse fracture when something applies serious force on the right angle of the bone so if you look into this bone and the uh, the pressure generates in this particular bone directly perpendicular to the bone and there is uh, the breakage happened as you can see in this uh, bone it is clearly shown that the part of this bone has been uh, moved away from this particular part type of fracture is called transverse fracture so now coming to joint injury okay let's uh, understand what joint is then we understand what joint injury are uh, a joint is a structure where uh, two or more bones meet and fit together other tissues within a joint include ligaments tendons cartilages and synovial fluid composed of in a particular joint so joint problems or the joint injury arise when something goes wrong with any of these uh, structures as, you, as i mentioned ligaments tendons cartilage synovial fluid as well as the bones are already uh, mentioned as you know that two bones are connected so the bones are always there in this particular uh, joint injury the first one you can see that dislocation so in the if you look into this picture it is shown that uh, there is a dislocation happened in the knee so you can see that the patella bone has been removed has been uh, moved to the another side and on the top of the femur has been uh, moved in a different place so in that place there will be severe uh, pain you will be experiencing and uh, you need uh, immediate hospitalization and this particular dislocation need to be uh, fleshed in a, as it was next you can see that there is a ligament tear in this picture that if the uh, ligament is torn then also uh, that uh, injury is falling under joint injury then after that tendon as you can see uh, Achilles tendon this particular injury is called Achilles tendonitis so this is also a joint injury that creates a lot of problem while working now coming to the cartilage injury you can see that uh, the bones uh, when they are connected so on the top of the bones there are cartilages so if the cartilages are also get damaged then also you will be experiencing uh, difficulties in walking or moving the particular uh, joint so these are all the uh, different types of joint injury as well as the uh, bone injuries that you that i have discussed i think you have liked it so thank you so much for watching this entire video please subscribe our channel and share with your friends and do not forget to like and comment. Thank you.